Hmm, ya kipas ya. Cuma ya, guys, nanti kita kena ya sekarang tidur. Oh, let's go. Try it. Wow. So wet now. Ani, you should be standing there. Ligo na. Yung na, yung Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, Kalachko. So here is the parliament. Yeah. So I've been loud in the world. I'm still alive. <laughs> In memoriam, 1956, October of 25. What it was? Maybe Hungarian uprising? Oh, maybe. Hungarian uprising during the time of communism. That was suppressed by Soviet soldiers. So, just a couple of meters away from here is memorial to Soviet soldiers. Thanks that you liberated us, 1945. Oh, something. Like no. Memorial to Soviet soldiers. Soviets are Russians, you know, oh, no. before. Once they annexed it, also states around. So oh, what's that inside? I okay. know. Oh, there is memorial. Thanks to Soviet soldiers, 1945, you you liberated us from Nazis. Uh -huh. Here is a memorial to all of those who took part of uprising during the time of communistic regime that was brutally suppressed by Soviets again. Uh -huh. And it was only 11 years afterwards. 11 years afterwards. And these two memorials are from each other, maybe some half a kilometer. Mm. Uh -huh. At first, Soviets, we love you. <laughs> and other Soviets, you are our biggest enemy. Contradiction. Oh, so the yeah. What's that? I think this is a mist maker. Uh -huh. Like we have in Repi. Nowadays it's modern. Lucky. Oh. Okay. So here's that other side of the parliament Honey, <laughs> 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 This is the parla Hungarian parliament. And uh -huh. this, is that and this is that other side. This is the back side. Mm, it seems to me from yeah. side. Mm -hmm. This is the main gate. Man. I think this is 
that mean? They're on the opposite side is for those ones who come by water taxi. Here, ordinary taxi. <laughs> A bit fine, I don't know, it's like raining, you know. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, <laughs> so they are guarding apparently that flag so nobody would steal it. Dahil magkukruse na kami. Yan. Yeah. Ang sarap ng hangin. Ayan. Ito yung karas na at si Close the Sky. Ah, kaya na ka na. Ay. Oh, pala, pala. Ah, balik, balik, balik. Ayan, dito na kami. We're gonna start a cruise now, guys. Wahoo! Hey! 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 Panorama. Are you have a dinner here? Millennium. Not only champagne and caviar, nothing much. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> we are inside the cruise now. We are going there now. Ayan, as you can see now guys, makikita nyo ngayon ang Hungarian Parliament. Diba ang ganda? Oo, oh, ayan siya. Oh, ganda parliament. <laughs> so this is only like overlooking on a, on a river, I know. but it's so nice to see, right? Maybe it's better also in the like night time when you are here because it uh, will be lit now. Hungarian Parliament. Right. Hungarian Pride.
ganda di ba? Oh, there's a water taxi. Ayan o, oh, ayan guys. So, ayan nakikita niya yung water taxi. Yung parang bus na yellow. Ayan o, oh, ang cute. Oh, water taxi nila. Ayan o. Oh, yeah. What's that? Calvinist Church. Calvinist Church. Protestant Church, yeah. Mm -hmm. A mace, the medieval weapon, doesn't seem very friendly, you might think. To find the explanation, we have to go back to the time of the Dallas Italy, where they were sold to be some mace. Their guards had maces, and since this event, the weapon was represented on the tops of their churches to show that the strong belief of the Calvinists cannot be changed by force.
As their presence meant a serious threat to Vienna, the Habsburgs asked for help from the Pope and the Empire's TV Before the Second World War, some of the ministries were up on the hill, close to the royal court in the castle district. Now I've seen this people down the there waiting. was created for the employees of these ministries so that they could get to work easier. The first bus line appeared in that area as late as 1928, but by that time, tourists had fallen in love with this old-fashioned means of public transport. During the Second World War, it was largely destroyed, and in the 60s, there were plans to replace it with an escalator. But luckily, they were not carried out. It was a quarter inhabited mainly by fishermen. In times of war, the guild of fishermen had to protect the wall. But the building you see up there was only erected in the early 20th century. It's not medieval at all. No fishermen ever fought there. The function of the building is purely decorative. It was built to give a nice litter. Matjak Church served as a coronation church. The last coronation was held there in 1960. The last ruler of the monarchy is Charles IV. Parliament. The House of Parliament was built between 1885 and 1904 by architect Kudrashtein. He oversaw the works on site throughout. In the end, he was in the but unfortunately he couldn't be present at the inauguration ceremony as he passed away five weeks before that. The style of the building is eclectic. Its weight is typical Baroque. Its facade is neo-Gothic, while inside you can find Art Nouveau ornaments. If you can look, it's very similar to Westminster, the Houses of Parliament in London, you will be it's more simple. The inspiration was that building. The architect traveled to Britain several times to study Westminster. And now some facts and figures. 365 little towers that were on the roof, just like the number of days in the year. The height of the cupola is 96 meters to commemorate the arrival of the Hungarian Dutch the Basin in 806. 40 kilograms of pure gold were used for the decoration of the interior. They say that the sum spent on this single building would have been enough to build an entire town of 40,000 inhabitants. The idea was to use exclusively Hungarian materials, except for the eight monolithic granite columns that were set as a present by the King of Sweden. But because of this strict condition, the use of local material, the limestone covering the building lacked too quickly so that renovations of the facade have been more or less costly since 1927. The main facade was finished recently, and for that occasion, the building received a new must-see floodlight. One of the curiosities of the building is its ventilation system. Around the building, there are wells that connect through underground tunnels with the inside. A constant 21 to 23 degrees can be maintained by putting eight pounds of ice in these tunnels on every warm day. Which seems to be the best temperature for So any counterproductive legal regulations should be blamed on a malfunction of the ventilation system. With its size, the Hungarian Parliament is the second biggest in Europe. You might ask the question, why does a tiny little country have a parliament as big as that? There are several reasons. First of all, you should know that it was a bicameral parliament with two meeting rooms for the lower and upper houses. Since 1944, only the lower house has operated. The northern room, the old meeting room of the Senate, is rarely used. Another reason for its size is the fact that Hungary at the time of the construction was nearly three times as big as it is now, so it wasn't such a small country. And the third reason is historical. If you ask a Hungarian how he sees in national history, he will speak about the old glorious times. The pagan times, or the early Christian times, when Hungary was independent and strong. And then he will paint an image of cruelty about all those who invaded Hungary. The Mongols, the Turks, the Austrians, and finally the Soviets.